what is going on my friends today back with another video as always if you guys are new hit that subscribe button to join the community if you guys enjoy the content please leave a like on the video it helps the growth of this channel a lot anyways today we're going to talk about how to create this awesome trippy liquefied skin effect in adobe premiere pro so what we're going to be doing is we're going to hop in right here i'm going to select all the footage that you guys just saw i'm going to remove all the effects and we're going to go at this from scratch we got this footage right here from a music video that i'm going to be putting out within the week looking really good right here if you guys want to step up your game and you want to start creating really really cool effects within premiere within after effects you guys need to start getting plugins there's only so far you can go with just the built-in stuff you want to get the cool stuff like this you want to get the crazy stuff like this 90 percent of the times it's going to be a plugin of some sort don't worry i'm going to tell you guys some ways you can get this for free so i've talked about this in a lot of my other videos because i talk about this plugin a lot we're going to be using the sapphire plugin and we're going to be using some of the sapphire distort effects within that sapphire plugin so so i'm going to link sapphire down below if you would like to purchase it or or there is a catch if you guys do have a student ID and you email them a picture of your student ID, you can get this for free. Of course, there are other ways that you guys can get this. Those are the top three ways. Either buy it, send your student ID, or just try and find some other way on the internet or through Google. But we're going to be using the Sapphire plugins within Premiere. You can also do this in After Effects if you follow along the same exact steps. So first things first, what we're going to do, let's get rid of all these other clips just so it's not too confusing. And we're going to go about this um at step one so we've got some base footage right here i've already color graded it for you step one is what we're going to do is hold down alt on our keyboard and then just drag up on this clip so that is creating a duplication of this clip as you see if i had one layer we still got this so we've got two layers of this clip right here and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our effects library click on this arrow and click on effects if you can't find that and we're going to click in our search bar for our library and we're going to look up the crop effects so once you've done that, it's under here, under transform, go ahead and put that crop effect on your top duplicated layer right here. Once you've done that, just go back to the very beginning. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up here into our effect controls in the top left. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask around this person. Now you guys might be getting a little bit standoffish at this part, just because masking in Premiere um, is sure to give you a headache, but the great but the great thing about this is i promise you guys this can be the sloppiest mask ever and the effect is still still going to look good just because of the way this effect is you do not have to make this perfect just make a nice rough outline around him just like this does not have to be perfect like i said we're going to go over and keyframe the mask path so come back up here to your effect controls right here under crop under mask it says mask path click a little stopwatch next to that of course making sure you're still at your starting position that is going to create a keyframe so now we can animate this mask to make it move along with us so that might all sound confusing but don't worry i'm going to show you guys exactly what we're talking about what we're going to do is use the arrow keys on a computer just to move over and we're just going to take this mask and drag it over in a general direction and then you can just kind of adjust this however like i said this does not have to be perfect at all what we're going to do is we're going to apply some feathering and the and once we apply the effect you're going to see what i'm talking about and then we're also going to make some adjustments at the very end to make this perfect so like i said just drag and make a couple of adjustments and as you see every single time we make an adjustment and we move along you're going to see right here keyframes are being made in our effect controls that is a good sign and that means that as we go along this mask is going to move with our video layer and we're basically animating it to move so let me just show you exactly what i just said as i move keyframe as i move frame by frame you're seeing our mask moving just because we're creating that animated keyframe right there so let's just keep going along we're going to keep moving this um we're going to keep moving this just to kind of match with our footage Okay, so I've gone through and made all my keyframes with my mask. If I slide around here, this is what it looks like. Extremely choppy, extremely sloppy masking, but it's still going to look good. You just kind of need a basic mask around the subject. As you see, all my keyframes are here. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our effect controls. We're going to go back to where it says crop. We're going to click inverted, and then we're going to make left 100%. So what that just did is if I hide this bottom video layer right here is we have everything cropped out except for what is in the mask that we just drew. So just the general area right here. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to blend this a tiny bit better. And the way we're going to do that is come back here to your effect controls, go down to crop and then under your mask where it says mask feather, make that something around 28 and then watch the edges of this you're just going to see it blend a little bit better and then that's all the masking we have to do now all we have to do is just apply those effects that i was talking about from the sapphire pack and then we're going to get something looking really cool so what we're going to do is come over here to your effects library we're going to we're going to look up s underscore d and then we're going to come down here and find sapphire distort 
There's a bunch of different Sapphire Distorts. That's why I highly recommend you guys get this pack by sending student IDs or however you get it. Just because it gives you so many useful stuff. And I talk about it in a lot of my videos because some of the stuff is so cool. And you can really create some awesome stuff with the Sapphire pack. So, go ahead and take Sapphire Distort. Just the regular Sapphire Distort effect under the Distort folder. And place that onto your top mask clip. And you're going to see that this turns into a giant blob. So, this is what we've done. And what we can do now is we can change the settings for distort to get something we like. But the coolest thing about this is they actually have built-in presets within the Sapphire pack. So all you really have to do is come over here to your effect controls, find the Sapphire distort you just applied to your top clip, click load preset, and then you're going to see all these cool presets pop up here. So Funhouse Mirror, um, Ice Distraction, Warp Vision. And if you look here, this is a preview of the effect you're going to get. We're going to want to choose the one that says Bubble Glass. Double click on that. And now as you can see, we've already got that liquefied skin that I was talking about. Um, and now all we have to do is just adjust the mask however we like. So if you press, so if you press play, um, you can see wherever the mask is. If it falls off the subject, I'll try and find a nice spot. Like I said, this is the beauty about not having to create that detailed mask with this effect. It doesn't really matter just because it's creating this cool distortion anyway. If you would like to view the mask, come over here to your effect controls and just click on where it says mask one, you'll be able to see. So let's find a spot. Say you want the corner of this chair to be liquefied, just take your mask and just drag it like that and it'll make the adjustment. And then vice versa, you could always take away parts of it um, parts of it if you don't want for example if you had a mask over something like this you could just adjust the mask to get rid of that liquefied part so just go through and make any adjustments you need to just to get the effect that you'd like so for example right here his arm kind of falls out of the mask a little bit um, i'm going to make this full screen and just adjust the mask just like that and we and we fix that since our mask path is already keyframed whenever we play that through that'll be fixed you see his arm is now liquefied and that's about it i think that looks really really cool um, i did add some other little things just to kind of make that effect pop in that first beginning clip that you guys saw as the example so i'm going to show you that now so if you do get the sapphire pack to be able to do this effect you're also going to get something called sapphire flicker it's one of my favorite effects it's under sapphire time go ahead and you can just drag that onto your clip it's just going to make the mask kind of flicker a little bit more so i'll show you and then here's with the flicker there's also some flickering of lights in the actual footage itself so it helps a little bit but i think that just kind of sells it a little bit more and if you want you can even up the amplitude to make that blink a lot more something like that that's way too much so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like comment and subscribe let me know anything you'd like to see next in the comment section down below if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button join our community we've got tutorials we've got a bunch of new content coming out music videos all that kind of stuff we just hit 30,000 members so a big thank you to you guys this channel has been blowing up lately and i'm super and i'm super thankful that you guys are giving me a platform um, and giving me a means of actually following my dreams being able to do creative work for a living so thank you guys so much for that we're going to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2018, so that is very exciting. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.